Welcome back to Poems and Stories to Remember. Hi, dreamers. Okay, so we're going to start the announcements out this morning. So I'd like to say good morning to all my dreamers. Okay. And um, to, to just let you know, we are currently in an active pop-up cash giveaway. And for those who don't know what the pop-up cash giveaway is, Pop up cash giveaway is where at any point in time I can pop up uh, on a video and actually do a cash giveaway. Now, for our first pop up cash giveaway, I have called out the names of those who were eligible already for that particular cash giveaway. Okay, so if you look at previous videos, you can see um, whether you were named on that, and that was based off of your participation from the prior month. So that pop-up giveaway was for um, participation from May and June. I actually did two months from May and June, okay? Now, just to let you know going forward, when I actually complete this pop-up cash giveaway, I will announce how much the giveaway is for and I will be pulling the names. I will actually take time out to show the names again of all of those who are eligible for this particular giveaway. And then I will put them in the uh, container, shake it up and pull a person. And that person will need to either have a cash out, cash out if they reside in the in, um, United States or a PayPal account if they don't. I'm not taking PayPals of anyone else but the name person. So if you don't have a PayPal, you're watching this video, you don't have a cash app, Please have one by the time I do the pop-up because otherwise you're, you are you actually forfeit your prize if you don't have one. If I have no way to send you the money directly, then you forfeit your prize and I will have to go back in and pull someone else. I'll actually have to do another pop-up and pull someone else for that particular um, first cash um, pop-up cash giveaway. Okay. Also, you will need to send me an email um, to poems and stories to remember at gmail.com of that information when you win. Only when you win. When I announce your, your name and you are the winner, then I'm looking for that, okay? And then I will send you your funds back and then you must go back on the video of the pop-up and let me know that you received it. You can send me an email, but I still need you to go in the video. That lets everyone else know that you've also received your cash and that this is a legitimate giveaway, okay? So that's the rules for that, okay? Thank you. So now for the pop-up cash giveaway two, okay? I will be announcing, okay, after I announce the winner, I will be announcing those people who are eligible. And it's gonna be a lot because I see a lot of people so whenever that video happens, that will be the end of anybody eligible for the pop-up cash too. So that means I'm still taking people for the cash, the pop-up cash to a giveaway uh, based on the videos I'm doing. But on the video that I actually announced the winner for the part one, then there will be nobody else included in that. And only the people named will be eligible for that cash giveaway. If you've already won, you are not entered in again, okay? So if you won before, whether you claimed your prize or not, you are not entered in again. Oh yeah, and you do have 48 hours for any of the winners to claim your prize, only 48 hours, okay? Wanted to make sure I made that clear. So then after that, so once I shut that down, then I will be working on my pop-up cash giveaway number three, okay? So this is how I'm doing it moving forward. It helps to get the participation I want. I don't have to feel like I'm repeating myself over and over or feeling like people are trying to take advantage or anything. This way, I love the way it flows. I love that people are participating and answering questions and stuff like that. And it just gives me a whole different vibe. It makes me want to do more. So I might have some surprises coming up. Um, on the uh, for the second pop-up cash giveaway. I will let you know at the time. You will know um, the cash giveaway, um, that it will be part two, and you will know um, to listen out for your name, if you were called, okay? 
So you want to click your notification bell. That's important because, like I said, I'm doing a pop-up. So if you have your notification bell clicked, then you will know when I'm coming on, okay? Anyone um, coming new to the channel, you would need to subscribe um, and then comment. Subscribing gets you a part of the channel. You become a dreamer. Commenting is the part is, is actually the way to participate. So you comment on the videos or whatever. You answer the questions when I ask questions. That's all a part of participation, okay? So you definitely want to do that, okay? And then if you like my content, please click the like button and the notification bell again so that you'll know when I'm doing future videos. Okay, so today I'm going to be reading a acrostic based on our theme. Our theme for the month of July is family. So this is based on family. It's an acrostic about family. So F is for familiar. It is amazing how from birth a child can recognize his mom and dad. We can say their faces look familiar, okay? A is for ancestor. The many people or ancestors with an S. The many people who came before you have paved the, the way for you and your children to succeed, okay? M is for mother. A woman who loves her family unconditionally and nourishes them with wisdom and encourages them with strength. I is for individual. Each family member has their own unique personality. We are recognized as an individual by our first name and as a family by family by our last name. Okay? So we're individual. L is for love. The love we have for our family is everlasting. This love nurtures, protects, and encompasses the family as a whole. And then our final letter is Y. Y is for yearning. This empty feeling you get when a family member grows up, a parent yearns for the youth of their child. The feeling you get when a loved one passes on. Okay? Yearn. So if you remember, the acrostics are uh, basically um, written in a style where you take a word and then you take each letter of that word and you write something about it. Okay? So that's the acrostic that I did for today. Okay, so I wanted to say thank you so much for the support that I'm getting with the um, questions. I'm trying to come up with another question that will um, be used again as a pop-up for the pop-up cash giveaway for three. Um, I like all the answers. I'm loving the answers that people are giving for ways that they can spend time with their family without spending money. And the reason why I wrote that, because, because of inflation, because of what's going on in the world today, because we just went through a whole strenuous thing of COVID and people not being able to really come close to their families and fear of, of loved ones getting COVID, now it seemed to be easing up and it looks like it's, it's moving away. And we want to think about those times again that we have. So even if you don't have money, a whole lot of money, you can still enjoy your family, okay? So I'm going to um, go right to the cards. I, I have gratitude cards here, so I'm going to get a couple gratitude cards. I'm going to do some, um, you got this, and a couple of positive affirmations for today. So, um, I uh, would like to say that it's very important, even with our family, to show gratitude. We want to be grateful to our Heavenly Father for the things that he has blessed us with. Even for just breathing and being and waking up the next morning should be gratitude that you send out to your Heavenly Father. Thanking him for the beauty of the, of the earth, the nature, the, the flowers, the trees, the warm air, the breeze. Everything about what God has given us, we should be grateful for. Okay? Then we want to show our loved ones gratitude for the love that they share unconditionally with us. You want to show the gratitude to your, your parents for, you know, they're the matriarchs of the family. They've been here for a while. So you definitely, as children and as other, you know, you don't have to be a child. You can be an aunt, an uncle, a cousin, 
You want to show family love to those people who are the matriarchs, who paved the way for us to be here today, who are there when we need them, whether it's it's monetary wise or just loving wise. You want to, you definitely want to um, show that gratitude, okay? Let's get some gratitude cards. For my dreamers and anyone new watching, please provide me with some gratitude cards. Looking for positive energy from my Heavenly Father, angels, and spirit gods. No negative energy is welcome here. Hmm, do you want to give us some gratitude? Almost. Looking for one since it's trying to be difficult. <laughs> I'm going to take one. Okay, if I don't get one from this one, I'm going to take and split the deck and pick a card, okay? Yeah. So let's split. And I'm going to do it one more time. Okay, and we're going to draw the first card. So this is a wonderful day. I've never seen this one before. This was written by Maya Angelou. She was a great uh, poet. She did a lot of nice poetry. And I might take one of her po poems and read it. She's a, a great representation of um, uh, intricate poetry. I like that she goes deep with her, her poems. Okay. So this is a wonderful day. Okay, I've never seen this one before, is what she said. Okay, so we know each day is different. So in a way that she said, it's a beautiful day, but she's never seen this before because this is her first time living this day. She has not relived this day in her past. Okay, so that was that one. Let's get some You Got This. I want, I want my dreamers to know that you got this. Whatever you're trying to achieve, you got this, okay? Let's get some messages for my dreamers. You got this. Oh, there you go. Okay, so we're going to take the top one there and these three, okay? Oh, they want me to take this one. Okay, and then I'll finish up with some positive affirmations if. Okay, so it is extremely important for one to face their fears and live a bold life. It is extremely important for you to face your fears and to live a bold life, okay? That's the first one. Second one says a river cuts through rock, not because of its power, but because of its persistence. So it's almost like, you know how water erodes the earth? So they're saying that a river cuts through that block because, because not because it's strong and powerful, but because it's, it's continuous, it's persistent. Okay? Are you doing things persistently in your life? You know what I'm saying? You don't have to stronghold it, but you want to stay consistent and be persistent about what you're trying to achieve. Okay. Infuse your life with actions. Don't wait for it to happen. Make it happen. Make your own future. Make your own hope. Make your own love. And that's putting action behind it. That's basically what it's saying. Put action behind what you want. Okay. To, to, to actually develop what you want in your future. If you want long-lasting love, you got to make it happen. Start off by first loving yourself, creating that love that you want in yourself so that others can see that love shining through you and want to give it back to you. It's almost like it reciprocates. Once you create it, it's going to spread. And then those people who are on the same wavelength are going to want to share that love back with you. Okay? Hope. Hope is something we don't hear a lot of people talking about. Hope is something that we should always want and believe in. Believe in hope. 
There's a hope for everything. Nothing is impossible. Okay, so we have to hope for things. Okay, and then and, and and believe that those things that we are hoping and wishing for will will actually come to surface. That will you know come to fruition. Will come true. You know your dreams will come true. Okay, there's always hope. Okay, let's get a couple of um, positive affirmation cards. That was it for the, um, you got this. Yeah, I'll take that one. So we got three. Don't worry, be happy. Do you remember that song? Um, I forgot his name. But anyway, he used to sing it. Here's a little song I wrote. I like I to sing it note for note. Don't worry. <laughs> Here's a little song I wrote. You're right. You're right, he says. I can't remember all of it. But he says, don't worry. Be happy. Okay? Don't worry. Be happy, y'all. Um, let's make today beautiful. I always get this one too. And I always say that, yes, we want to make today beautiful, but we also want to try to make each day that comes forth as beautiful as we, as we can. Okay. Stay in positive vibes. And we got this one before do small things with great love. So even though you're working on something and it might be a smaller project than what you really will want to, you're going to work yourself up to get what you want. So do small things with great love, okay? And this also could be from a point of gratitude wherein you see somebody that's hungry and you go buy them something to eat and give that to them. That's a small gesture that you did, but it's great for them because they were hungry, okay? Okay, so dreamers, I'm so happy to be in this um, pop-up cash giveaway Actively, I know those are waiting. I can feel the energy of you waiting and wanting to know, are you the winner? And, and that makes me feel good. That really makes me feel good to know that I have people who are seriously on here. And then, like I told someone else I was speaking to on here before, you are worthy. So when I'm saying that um, in, in a previous, and I, and I don't want to dwell on that, but in previous, I had people who came on and understanding that, yes, it's okay to want to be on here for the contest, but we don't want to fake it, okay? We don't want to fake it, okay? We all have a love for our family. We have a, a creative love. Whether you're a dancer, a singer, a writer, a poet, whatever you do, we still have something creatively that we do. So we don't want to just fake something just to get um, monetary benefits from it. You want to put your heart into it. Their heart being into this gives me that energy. I can feel your energy when your heart is in it. And then you'll be the one that's deserving of winning, okay? Deserving of it. And it will help me to create other things. Like, I want to see everybody at some point win something on my con on my channel. I don't want um, just to see one person always. I want to see, you know, various people, especially those who really need it. Winning this, you know, winning our, these pop-up cash giveaways. So you can say in your life that you did achieve something. You won something for the first time, especially if you've never won. You know what I'm saying? So on this video, I just, just help me do that. So in the comments on this video, because like I said, I'm always looking for ways for people to participate. Okay. I would like for you on this video only, okay. Uh, anyone watching, please comment whether you've ever won anything online, okay? Whether you ever won it, whether it was a uh, gift or cash, have you ever won anything online? I will pin this in the comment on this video, okay? Thank you, Dreamers, for taking time out of your productive day and anyone new watching to listen to my acrostic on family to allow me to share my You Got This gratitude and positive affirmations. And... Thank you for allowing me to share the announcements about the pop-up cash giveaway. Stay tuned, y'all. I will be popping in soon. Bye.